Today I'm going to show you how you can remove duplicate data in the Excel. At the same time, how you can properly format your data so that it's more presentable, readable, and uh, able to standardize across um, your Excel. All right, so uh, this is very useful if you are doing data cleaning or if you are uploading this data set uh, onto database. All right, so over here you can see the list of companies that is uh, building for ships. So, um, and then this is a formatter that we're going to format it, and this is a formula that we're going to use. All right, firstly is to remove the duplicate data. As you can see that there are actually uh, two same names. So if you want to uh, remove the same names, because you, don't have, you just want to have a, a, a company, list of company. So firstly, your step, first step is to actually remove duplicate. So to remove duplicate, uh, uh, you can actually click the whole column. All right, and then you go to data, then you go to uh, remove duplicate uh, option. So when you click on here, you go to the continue with current selection. It's the one that you selected. All right, uh, and you remove duplicates. Over here, you can see that uh, they have removed your uh, header, which is the first uh, row. So if you select, these are both checked. So if you press OK, that means you just wanna um, remove the duplicate from the second row onwards. Just exclude the headers. All right, press OK. And then you can see that 15 duplicates been found and removed and only 14 uh, um, values remain. So press OK. So here you can see that it's already removed the duplicate. So these are company, unique companies. Um, but as you can see that uh, this unique company is defined by the same exact characters and spaces. So if the first and the second row is both hard and then 13 row is the same company, but because their their formatting is different here your spaces, these are read as two uh two different companies. Alright, so uh, that being said uh we can what we can do is we can uh move on to the next step which is which is to actually format the format the data. Alright so give me a sec why is my mouse having to going up okay all right so over here um we can use three formula all right the first formula is proper so what proper actually do is actually to remove to actually um capitalize your first letter and then the the rest of the letter is small all right so let's try for this second row from that here being that three but equal proper and then open bracket, select the cell, press enter. And you see that it properly format for you with the first capital letter followed by the small letters for individual word. All right. But over here on the, on the second row, if you do this proper, it won't have any changes um, because it's already properly formatted. All right. So it, it just um, be the same. But the problem is that you want what you want to do here is not actually to do uh, using a proper function, what you need to do is to trim it. So to trim it is to actually remove the spaces between uh, uh, before the letter and after the letter. All right. Okay. So let me trim it. So equal trim. I press here. Set trim. Open bracket. Press here. Okay. So you can see that it's properly trimmed. All right. Okay, the third option is, I believe, the best option, which is combine the first proper and second trimming. All right, so what you can do over here, let me select one of the, right, maybe I change this to a the V. All right, so firstly, you press on equal, then proper, and then open bracket, and then you trim. So what they do is they have, they will first um, change the, capital and small letter respectively. At the same time, they will remove the spaces in between. I press M. Maybe that's not giving me sense. All right. Let me try again. Proper. Trim. Press this. This thing. Close bracket. All right, so you can see that the gap is removed and then the capital letters has been removed. All right, so here is the properly trimmed and um, formatted data. 
you can actually double click it and they will do for the rest of your data right so currently you can see that uh, this is under it's still a, uh, a form function formula right running at the back what you want to do is to replace it as a normal text value uh, there are one way to do it so if you want to first way is if you want to replace the current the actual name what you can do is you select the the, the area that you want to the data that you want to be copied right click onto the frame all right and then drag all right once you drag it when you release the mouse right click there will be an option called copy here as values only so you copy here it will replace it at the same time you can see that this is no longer a formula uh, this is formula you can see on top this is not a formula all right so it's not formula so it's a text all right so if you do not want to replace the, um, the first one you want to replace this in the same column same thing you select the entire data go to the frame all right right click and you drag out and drag in again and then you go to copy here as value and you will see the change that it's no longer a formula all right hope this helped um choose the format and, and and clean your data so that's it thank you